Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Los Angeles, the wonderful, beautiful city of Los Angeles here in California, the United States. We had a bit of a delay here, but it's finally time to get underway. I'm joined here by none other than Shirt. Shirt, what's up? Hey, how's everything going? I'm just amped, ready to get this match underway. We have two top competitors behind us. We have Korea, who's been, honestly, he's just been playing wonderfully. I mean, flawlessly, no, no issues, no drama, nothing going on. And then we have Russia, who snuck out into semifinal bracket. He's a sneaky, sneaky guy. He plays really dirty, but I love to see. I can't wait to see what goes on. Yeah, you've been following the tournament so far. You've been on towards the stand of the Samsung Mobile stand, getting these guys, just checking them out, see what they were up to. And uh, it was really interesting. We, so far, we had a, a lot of competition already going on. The winner from last year, Sly Fox Lover, he uh, sadly did not make it forward. He's not, I'm not going to be in towards the, uh, you know, the WCG uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah, like, that so, like that, people are like, really want to get into it. We had Grubby this morning for, for uh, Warcraft 3. He was almost in there, and they are still not, we still don't have a person that's had, that's, that managed to get in there three times. So with Sly Fox Larver, we could have had a second time, but sadly it was not going to happen. Yeah, just it wasn't going to happen. I mean, Australia definitely had an excellent show of force. You know, in the beginning of the lap, as I've said before, if you had, guys have had a chance to watch before, it all matters in that very first lap when you start off and you definitely need to get that initial momentum. If not, you're just going to get overtaken, and Australia managed to do that very, very well. All right, let's get on the way here with the finals of Ash Fault 4. Let's get into the game. We're time to loading up here. Both sides, for, for those people that uh, are out here and uh, they were wondering, this track, it's not Los Angeles, it's San Francisco. San Francisco, that's like, right. San Francisco, beautiful city, of course, not as great as Los Angeles. Like, I know there's a couple people out there that are not gonna be greedy on that one, but we got Ninjula versus Missouri, Russia versus Korea. We're on our way in lap number one. Shirt, take it away. Man, Russia is managing to take that initial lead, definitely battling properly on that first turn. He's making his way inside the shortcut, grabbing all of the debris right now, making his way down the hill where he will have no problem making, to maintaining that lead. Russia, not too far behind though. He managed to gain his momentum, gather some composure, get himself some boost. He's definitely gonna give Korea a run for his money here. As we see him have a little bit of a technical issue here, we saw just now they were going around the same height as uh, Gazebo right there. We were, you saw a couple things going on in the previous rounds, as uh, currently we have a little bit of technical issues we're, we're going to fix up. But we had the Gazebo right there. And you told me that one of the players, I believe it was the South African one, that like constantly hit Gazebo continuously? Oh, no, that was Chinese Taipei. He actually managed to hit the Gazebo multiple times flawlessly. He had no issues whatsoever getting through it, and it definitely shaved some time off the clock. Unfortunately, he was battling Korea, who just managed to make the better times, and, um, you know, Korea definitely took it there. So it was like, like gazebo every time you run it. Every time. Like, you run it, but how, like, what is the time difference right there? Um, it's about a tenth of a second off the clock. Also, you get an, um, an extra boost. So if you know how to manage that and maintain your, um, your speed and momentum, then you definitely can get at least half a second off. So it's kind of like a little bit of an extra debris that's like counted on that jump. Yeah, most definitely. Unfortunately, it's not worth it as much because, as I've said before, you can hit that jump, but if you miss and you hit one of the walls, you're definitely losing three seconds because you don't crash, you just stall. Like, all right, that's, that's fair enough. On, uh, on Friday, we had our uh, second uh, qualification here for the United States. Yes. Like, you and I were on here on stage. We had, uh, we had one of our other co-commentators here on, and he's currently gone home. Yep. It's like this morning. And uh, we were doing the back and forth. Uh, the winner from that, Jamal, Jamal. who uh, he won, well, he was part of the um, the WCG Ultimate Game or season one. Yep, that's correct. Like, how far did he end up getting? Um, he lost three races, but he managed to um, take one home. Uh, I don't remember the opponent he played, but I do remember that opponent trying gazebo multiple times. He was trying to match Chinese Taipei for his gazebo, gazebo attempts, and unfortunately, it just did not pay off. Therefore, Jamal managed to take it home. That's a shame. That's a shame, man. Because he was out there. He was standing on that crowd. It's like, winning is what I do. Yeah. It's like, 
That kind of stuff always bites you in the ass in the end. Yeah, definitely true. But I have to give my appreciation to him because he did manage to learn that game, you know, for 30 minutes. He didn't get an opportunity to practice. He does not have the phone. The only time he practiced is when he had an opportunity to visit the Samsung Mobile Challenge booth. And, you know, he got he grabbed one of those Samsung phones, hopped on asphalt, and he got himself pretty high up. I mean, he did win a cell phone, and he did get that global position, so I have to pay my respects for that one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. As so I'm looking here back at the back, are we, how are we doing, guys? We'll be underway in one moment. As, uh, yeah, we're just currently still waiting. Uh, essentially, for those people that are out here, come out here to uh, the the uh, convention center. Yeah. Like we had a we had a queue out this morning when I walked in. Like, did you see that out here? Because oh, I, I did. did. Oh, I did. I definitely did. I, did. I checked that out. Like there were people waiting to get the Warts of Warcraft and the Starcraft oh, yeah. later on as well. Lots of enthusiasm and the crowd is growing here. That just goes to show how much these people love Asphalt 5. Indeed, indeed. Uh, currently we're just waiting. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go for a quick commercial break and uh, check out what we, whether or not we can get some of the uh, stuff going, going here. We'll be right back with you here at the grand stage and the grand final for the World Cyber Games. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back here after that little bit of a technical problem there. As uh, we're back here on the stage, it does look like we're going to be resetting that one. So uh, we're back to zero, I guess. Yes, we are. And uh, we're going to continue on and go straight into the game. OK, both of these characters are going to restart. We have Russia versus Singapore. Time to get underway here once again on the streets of San Francisco. And we're on our way. Both drivers are ready to rock and roll. And it's all about those first seconds here on the track as Kimbuja already taking up the heat here, picking up their initial nitro and see where they can slide his way in towards the shortcut as he's taking the lead by 1.7 seconds right on top of that. But Missouri right on top of his tail and he's not taking that shortcut. And Kimbuja is. That'll give him the lead early on. Yeah, this is one of those circumstances where you really do not want to miss that shortcut. Kimbuja has no problem clocking in at least 202 in his lap times all, all together. So for any, for rest of the miss, any shortcuts, it's very dangerous. Right now, Kimbuja doing an excellent job making his way into the tunnel and around the first turn. We're going to see what he clocks in in one moment. Meanwhile, we do have Russia who managed to gain some composure. He's not too far behind. Excellent, 44 seconds on the clock, and we're going to start lap number two. 42 seconds, wow, for an initial lap. That is ridiculous right here. Kimbuja is not taking any risk whatsoever, even though he's going over, oh, going sliding through that shortcut. He did not go for the Zebo in the end, which is probably the best thing to do from his point of view. Missouri doing the same thing. He's right on top of right on top of Kimbuja's tail. As he's on the jump, trying to get the chase in, and he's powering it down. And he's need to take need to start taking some risks fairly soon to get back on towards the trail of Kimbuja, who's about to go around the corner into the uh, in towards the finish line, or at least the round line. And if, if you've ever noticed, Missouri is definitely looking for a method of gaining some kind of momentum. Therefore, he's missing the shortcut on purpose and trying to grab an extra booster around the way. But that's not working too well because Korea is drifting inside the shortcut. And as you can see, he just built half a minute and he has a triple boost. He's outside of that turn and he's going down the hill to get some more. As, uh, just Time difference is starting to uh, add up. Oh, Missouri's gonna lose out of this one. It's on lap number three. Hits the car after the jump. A little bit of a mistake down there. And so uh, at this stage, it does look like a Kombucha is gonna be picking up this uh, first round. Remember, it is a best of five. So uh, he's gonna pick up his first point, and he's two rounds away for uh, picking this up. Let's continue on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And so uh, the administration piece is gonna get out here. As uh, even our lovely Samsung booth 